Hi. Welcome to GTech. Now we are going to see about ecology. What is ecology? In the year of 1866, the German biologist Ernst Haeckel who has first coined the term ecology. Ecology came from the Greek word oikos meaning house. Ecology defined today as the study of interaction among living organisms and their environment. You can see the Ernest Haeckel here here. Let us discuss about energy flow. The sun is the main source of energy for life on earth. 1% of sunlight that reaches earth is used by living organisms. You can see sun and living organisms over here. Let us discuss about producers or autotrophs. Producers or autotrophs uses sunlight or chemicals to make their own food. Here you can see the producers, these are the producers, consumers and decomposers. And here the food chain is depicted. Now we are going to see about consumers for heterotrophs. It has herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, detritivores, decomposers. Here you can see carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, decomposers and detritivores. Now we are going to see about food chain. You can see the food chain over here. The first stage is producer, primary consumer that is plankton, secondary consumer small fish and tertiary consumer that is large fish. These are called food chain. Let us see about the food chain. The energy is needed for growth, movement, reproduction and it is needed for repair. It is the most important factor for life. So now we are going to see the transfer of energy. The source of that is sun which is transfer the energy to the tree. So it get the energy from the sun and it is eaten by the giraffe. So the giraffe is taken the energy from tree and then the lioness got the energy from giraffe by eating that so the tree is producer and giraffe is primary consumer and this lion is secondary consumer here the energy loss is producer to primary 90% of energy is lost you can see it over here and from primary consumer to secondary consumer the energy is 90% of loss now let us see about the energy pyramid here the plant is producer, giraffe is primary consumer and lion is secondary consumer. Let us discuss about food webs. Food webs is more complex than food chain. It is a complex net of interaction among the organisms that is a complex net of interaction among organisms that is interdependence from sun carbon dioxide water the producers take the energy from the producer you can see the primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer here the decomposer is presented you can see the small cycle here here you can see the simple food verb each and every one is interdependence here. Let us see how organisms get energy. You can see the sun gives the energy to the autotrophs and from the autotrophs the food and heat which is transferred to the heterotrophs. You can see here and the food and heat which is transferred from the heterotrophs to the decomposer. You can see that and decomposer it release the heat to the atmosphere and also you can see the another cycle that is from the 
autotropes the heat is also transferred to the decomposer let us see the parts of the biosphere you can see the organism here that is the organism the group of organism is called population you can see that and the variety of population is called community and the community is living together with an environment then the atmosphere is called biome you can see the biome here and it is fully known as biosphere you can see the biosphere over here the food chain a food chain is a food pathway that links the different species in a community the energy and nutrients are transferred to one organisms to another you can see here the flower is a producer the energy is transferred through the producer and another one is primary consumer and secondary consumer and the final one is tertiary consumer you can see the food chain over here the energy transferred from producer and primary consumer and secondary consumer here is a representation for the food chain it is created by identifying the producer and consumer in a given community let us talk about a tropical level each level in a food chain is called a tropical level you can see that and each species occupies a supine position in the chain you can see here the producer primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer in the tropical level the producer is eaten by the primary consumer and the primary consumer is eaten by the secondary consumer that is the frog is eaten by the snake and the snake is finally eaten by the hawk that is a tertiary consumer this is nothing but a tropic levels and let us see about the food chain of marine and terrestrial here you can see the marine food chain this is phytoplankton it is the producer for marine and another one is zooplankton it got the energy from the phyto plankton and the carnivore it is a primary secondary consumer it got the energy from eaten by the primary consumer let us see about the food web many organisms do not eat only one things you can see here the terrestrial food chain in terrestrial food chain food web you can see the food web here it consists of a primary secondary and it start with producer you can see here this is detrivorous that is decomposers such as bacteria fungi and all you can see what are the producer primary consumer and secondary consumer and finally the tertiary consumer here the wastage and dead organisms are to be go to decomposers this is the secondary consumer now let's going to talk about decomposer decomposers is nothing but it break down the materials and return nutrients to the soil the well known example of decomposers are bacteria fungi and algae you can see the bacteria over here it decomposes the dead organic materials you can see the decomposers over here let us see about the energy pyramid 
here the total energy is transferred to the one level to the next level that is you can see the energy transformation in the levels in producer it has a thousand units of energy this energy got from the sand and the primary consumer that is the second level the energy transformation is getting to be reduced that is about 100 units of energy is goes to the primary consumer and secondary consumer it got only 10 units of energy and final the top level consumer that is tertiary consumer it has only one unit of energy you can see here so the energy is transferred to the another level and here the most of the energy is lost as a heat so from the bottom to top level consumer the energy is reduced you can see that typically a matter of three to four levels more than that and not getting enough energy so you can see the top level consumer not get enough energy that is it contain only one unit of energy from the thousand units of energy now we are going to see about the tropic levels in tropic levels each location or step in a food chain or food web represents a tropical level examples for tropical levels are producers primary consumers secondary consumers and etc you can see it over here now we are going to discuss about ecological promise ecological promise only about 10 percentage of energy available within a tropic level and which is transferred to organisms at the next higher level you can see the ecological pyramid over here here the energy ranges let us discuss about cycles of matter the cycles of matter is nothing but unlike the energy matter is constantly being recycled in an ecosystem that is called biogeochemical cycle here you can see the biogeochemical cycle now we are going to see about transpiration transpiration it is nothing but the release of water from the leaves of plants you can see the water is released from the plants and then the water is exchanged through the plants tomato the tomato is presented over here and finally the evaporation is the second process that releases water into atmosphere you can see it over here the water is evaporated now we are going to see about carbon cycle the carbon cycle is nothing but it is a biological process it consists of photosynthesis respiration and decomposition the carbon cycle is over here here the volcano emits the carbon dioxide and the rainwater washes CO2 and you can see it over here the CaCO3 and SaO2 which is deposited as sediment the sediment subducts to source of volcanoes you can see it over here and this poison is called oceanic crust here the mantle is represented and this brown color depicted as here that is continental crust the carbon cycle is nothing but the reaction of CaSiO3 plus CaO2 which gives CaCO3 plus SiO2 it is in weathering that is metamorphism 
carbon geo chemicals are the geochemical process that is volcanoes and biogeochemicals fossil fuels and human activity that is factories deforestation and car exhaust from these process the carbon is exist